What's going on everyone? Cubologist here again today with my thoughts on the new Fengshi Jiayun from the cubicle.us. So thanks to the cubicle for sending this over. Now this is the newest 3x3 in the Fengshi line and I'll start off this video by saying that I think it's probably the best. So when you open this puzzle up, the first thing that catches your attention is the addition of ridges along the edge of each piece. So this is a brand new feature on mainstream 3x3s, and it's kind of like the ridges on the Dian Megaminks, if you're familiar with that. But they're more shallow, and you almost forget about them after a few minutes. I thought at first that they were going to bother me, but after using the puzzle for a little while, I think that they might be onto something here, honestly. The ridges make your grip more stable on the puzzle, and they help you keep better control of the cube. At least they did for me. And I really like the feel when doing two-handed turning as well as one-handed turning. It actually helped on the R primes when you use your little finger. I do have a couple problems with the overall design though. One of them being with this ridge design because it limits the size of the stickers you can put on the puzzle. So like with most other cubes, one of the main reasons that I change stickers from the stock ones is to increase the surface area of the sticker. It may just be in my head, but I think larger stickers actually help my recognition. And with this puzzle, having stickers that go beyond the ridges kind of just looks ridiculous. And then one other small problem that I had was the design of the center cap. So these center caps were kind of difficult to get off. They had some flash on them. And as you can see here, they're really, really thin. And all of these added together actually led to me breaking one of the center caps and I didn't feel like I was being very forceful at all. But I just super glued it back together and it seems to be working just fine. But those are just small problems and regardless of them I would still like to see more puzzles with some sort of grip assistance just like the ridges but maybe a little closer to the edges. Corner cutting on this puzzle is pretty typical of modern speed cubes with 45 degrees and over normal corner cutting and almost a whole piece reverse being the standard. And even though it's fairly easy to corner twist on this cube, I haven't had a single one in over 500 solves. But bear in mind that may be due to my turning style, since I didn't really even have a corner twisting problem with the Olong version 1. Now the turning of this puzzle really surprised me. I expected it because of some other videos I've seen to turn extremely quickly, like the most recent Fengshi, the Guanying. But it doesn't at all. The design's been altered just enough to make this puzzle controllable, or at least to make it possible to make it controllable, with adjusting the tensions and how you set the puzzle up. They've added another torpedo on the edge piece and made the bases of the corners much more solid. The corner piece actually slots in under this new torpedo, as you can see there, and the changes make the puzzle feel a lot more stable than the somewhat rattly Guanying, and I really enjoy this feel. Now there are some small locks when turning in accurately that are not there with my Olong version 2, but they're pretty rare and they seem to only show up when I'm trying to reverse cut more than I should. So overall, I would say that it's a very good speed cube, and I would not be surprised to see people that enjoy the things you feel make this their main. And you can pick this puzzle up from the cubicle.us for $15. I'll put a link down in the description, and I would definitely recommend that if you're a fan of Feng Shi cubes or just want to try something new that isn't your typical 3x3 that still performs really well. Also, if you're just a puzzle collector, this is definitely the beginning of a new design, I feel, so it'd be something to pick up. But I really appreciate you guys watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Now, if you didn't enjoy, just watch it again. Maybe you'll like it the second time. But I hope you guys enjoyed this new style, and as always, you'll hear from me really soon. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.